Hello, welcome back to Founding Core Plays Factorio C Block. So, I started already removing this, and then I was thinking, oh crap, I should start recording. So, I'm going to move all what was here. We were basically making um, Liffy Assault from Brown Algae in a uh, electric furnace once I find where they're at, right here. So I'm going to pull all this back. We're going to act like there's a belt coming in through here. Because I want this to have this right here. I want this to have more room in case I need to expand on it. Which what I should have done was taken this and flipped it sideways. That would have been better. And I may fix that, who knows. I may just leave it as it is. It don't matter. Because I could just run the belt down more. But nonetheless, I want to make sure there's plenty of room. You know what? I might even go a little bit further up. Just to be safe on all that. Alright, so there is our outline of where the belt should go. Uh, let's just get rid of this one red belt that I don't need. There. Because I may end up picking up more, which actually it looks like I will. So, I don't know why I did that then. Alright, so electric furnaces and the reason why we're doing this in case you didn't watch the last episode was because this one belt of brown algae is not going to support support this all together I'm going to be brief about it but 20 brown algae is needed every three and a half seconds. And a yellow belt can only support 30 items from both sides. And then a red belt supports 30. Well, each one needs 20 every 3.75 seconds or whatever it was. Yes, 3.75 seconds. Which means we're going to need more belts coming in to support this. So, what I'm going to do... Actually, let me go take it. That's what I was going to do. I was going to take some of the green algae farms that we're making and we're going to localize it. In case you don't know what I mean by localizing it, it means we're going to only make brown algae for these specifically down here. So I don't have to run another belt. But that's the reason why we're not running so much. It's because of saline water. Are these processing? No. No. Okay. So, we clearly cannot support that. Based on what we have. Oops. Went a little too over. There we go. Um, no. I'm going to keep that one. And trash that. Which sucks because... That was weird. It wouldn't let me walk for a minute. My keyboard may be dying. I don't see it flashing. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, my battery must be dying. I don't know why it's not letting me know. Weird. Okay, so... <sighs> Localizing it. I did pick up two of them. So I am going to need to put these up here. Uh, 
and saline water. Now, obviously, you can get it from doing thin mud water. You can also get it from salt, or you can also get it from 1,000 water, which these only produce, what, 1,200 per second? Or no, actually, I have one. Hmm. Let's try to make this. I may actually just pilfer off of this. <clears throat> so how do we make that saline water again in a saliniz salination plant? So we have a salination plant. It's a Mark 1, and it's a crafting speed of 1. So it produces 400 saline water every 5 seconds. 400 every 5 seconds or 200 every 2.5 seconds if you want to look at it like that. Hmm. And then how much saline water do these need? 100 every... Well, if it's 20 seconds, so... One should be plenty. I don't know why I'm not producing enough saline water for for that earlier, but whatever. Um, aluminium. That's what I was needing so I can make a salinization salination plant. Which we should have tons of aluminium plates. There. Just trying to get rid of it all. Aluminium plate. I know I have it. There it is. I was about to say, like... I know I have it. Ah, now I need to figure out where where it ran to. Maybe it's best not to do this yet. Give me one second while I do this. There it is. Okay. So it's got to come all the way to that. Let's get rid of this silver ore because, you know, I don't need it. Now we got aluminium coming. Try to get positioned to where I can pick it up. And how many do I need? Just one. No. Yeah, it may just be one. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm going to pick up more aluminium just to be safe. Alright. It's not a whole lot of aluminium, but let's just keep moving. That's not full, thank God. All right, boogie in now. Okay, so now our output will come out here for that. We need to get green, or not green, brown algae being made. I can't remember how many we determined supports each. So let's... Real quick, let's go through. So it's 40 every 20 seconds, or 2 per second, if you want to look at it like that. 
So two per second. And these need 20 every 3.75. So for, I think it was like a total of, s no. I want to say it was seven. But let's think about it. 20 every 40 every 20 seconds, 20 every 10 seconds. So there's 20 every 10 seconds. I did write it down. And then if you have three machines, that would be 20 every two and a half seconds. Which, looking at that, that needs to come down. And it's not going to be able to because of that pipe. Hmm. I don't want to mess with that. So, I may actually just move all this up. <clears throat> Again. Nope. Yep. And this will be fine like that. I can move. I hate that I keep going further and further away from this. I'm going to do something else. No, but I wanted... Oh my god, I'm struggling here. I wanted this to be here because it was in line with those pipes. I'm not in line with the pipes, but... uh, It worked out right here, basically. That's what I'm trying to get at. There we go. Oh, this is over too far. There we go. Okay. Actually, let's go look at the thermal water piping real quick. So we're running it right here. Ooh, slow down. Which then comes up right here. Now I could go up and run it back this way. And I'm pretty sure there's not really going to be anything in our way, but I could be wrong. It's like right here. Is that right? Right now, right down here, no, right there. Yeah, it would work out perfectly. It would come, no, no it won't. Because it would run into this. So, no, we're going to have to stick to where we're at. Or run pipes further down or up over that way. Alright, so... That sucks. I was going to actually try to utilize more space. So, we'll have to leave this here. Okay, so we're leaving this here. Then that means we need to go back to what we were doing. These need to stay here. These can't be moved. Not in the way of like, let's move this all the way up here and then run a belt up. I mean, I could do that, but that's just too much. 
way unnecessary. Um, hmm. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. I don't know why there's an underground belt of that. Hmm. There. I wanted to get rid of those red. I mean, I could shift this down, then I could put everything underneath this and run it upwards kind of thing. I could do that, but if I didn't do that, then I'm going to have to run everything up here and then run a line of lithium salt coming down. I'd rather it be right here. So let's just do that. Because I have all this room and there's no point in not utilizing it. Like there's no point in not. There we go. Uh, sorry. There we go. Alrighty, so here it is. may even compact this down a little bit more. This is the output. Okay, there's that. But I also needed it to do... It's going to put it on this side, so... Like this, like this, like this. Like this. Okay, perfect. Works out perfectly. So these are the outputs. There. I'm trying to get rid of all this. I should get even distribution. So compost and mud. Well, there's compost. Mud I didn't bring down. Um... I'll have mud come from over here. Uh, don't really care.
trying to split some of this up. There we go. And then the next is compost. All right. Uh, sorry. Compost to come in right here. Oh, where did I get Mark One power lines from? Uh, just give me one of these. And let's actually put it somewhere where we can utilize it. <clears throat> Apparently not there. And this ain't going to work either. Because of that pipe. So... Let's go one more. And I know the... Freaking. I know this is being really dumb, what I'm doing. Wasting time messing with this. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm going to let that do its thing while we continue on. So we move that here. Alright, landfill. There. Uh, there we go. So, these are going to input from like this. And the reason that is, is because we're going to work everything upwards. Alrighty. Alright. So, we're going to be making, this needs the lithia. Lithia is going to be coming from, oh, come on, keyboard, don't die yet. It's going to be coming from right here. Actually, I may offset it a little bit. All right. Um, hmm. Let me think how this is going to work. Now, four of these, if we're running nonstop, can su support all these. And that's two, four, five, two, four, five. So, <clears throat> the next issue is now I need to get brown algae to both of these. So let's say there's a belt for those two. No, it's three, but it would need to be red. These would need to be red belt. I can't believe I'm doing this again, but I need to do this again. I mean, don't get me wrong, this doesn't need it.
All right. So there's that. Now we came to the conclusion that that seven of these, which wouldn't make any sense, like seven of these supports three of them, but I don't know how the belt's going to handle that. Because we could put three and a half on one side and three and a half on the other. And that's going to constantly provide uh, 40 brown algae every 20 seconds. But what I was getting at, what I was, I was thinking about having, let me show you what I'm thinking. So if it's, thank you, robots. If it's seven and a half. Or not seven and a half. If it's seven to every three, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what that would look like. All right. Or we can have it look like that. Here's the halfway. So what we would do is run it in right there and we would have like two inserters there, two inserters there. So that they're putting on Oh, that sucks. No, 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 what am I doing? Yeah, 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 we're going upwards. That's right. So, if these are outputting... Oh, no, we don't want to go outwards. We want to go inwards. Yeah, I could still put two there. Oh, wrong way. There we go. That's what we want to do. I have to remember it's backwards. There we go. That makes more sense now. And then power lines will be easy. I mean, all we have to do is run them like this. This is my favorite song on this game. But anyway, so we'll do that. But the thing that I was wanting to do, though, is this may overfill the, or this may not even overfill the belt. I mean, realistically, what it should do is, should more like be like this. No, go through. Basically come down like this. Or, like, one of these 
come here for the three and a half. <clears throat> hmm. This is kind of a struggle. Maybe not have it so far back. Okay, let's let's look at it like this then. All right, so this is going to produce one every three point seven five seconds, and this is going to need one every ten seconds. This needs one every ten seconds, and this produces one every three point seven five. So really one of these can only support two of these with a little bit left over so let's say that let's say it's 20 every two and a half seconds if we have three machines. So maybe I got an idea. Bear with me for a minute. I apologize. All right. So there's going to be a little bit extra of this. So I want to try something. Let's put this down here. Let's. That's so weird. But let's reverse the belt. And you can still do your thing like that. And there's a reason for why I'm doing it like this. All right. <clears throat> so this is going to output, which it only needs to be a gray belt, the regular belt. Um, there they are. This is only going to produce one every 3.75 seconds. So that means this can only support two. <clears throat> Let's say we input like that. So the best way for this to output <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Well, what I could do is, I guess I could shift it over one, everything, like everything shift over one.
mean, it still gets power, and the reason being is because of this. I need to be able to be like that. All right, so... This is going to... There's going to be a little bit of back... Little, um... I don't know how to say it. There's going to be a little bit too much. So what I may end up doing... Is I might scoot this over a little bit. Actually back this way. Ah, oh, this is... So aggravating. Uh, trash that. And the reason being is because the extra I want to go towards other factories. Oh, where's it at? Let me look at this. Okay, that's perfect right there, and that's perfect right there. And then input here, input there. Then I can split off whatever extra there is. Or not even split off, but just, you know, take from it. Okay, there's that. So this is going to be pretty much our setup for this. And then any extra of this can go towards more factories. So that's what I'm pretty much trying to do. Now, let me increase this by a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to take a blueprint of this. No, not blueprint of dirt. Um, I don't need that. And... May do it like that. Now, with these... We gotta come down and around like that. And I wanna put these on both sides of the belt and I wanna do the same thing with these. But what we'll do is we'll start off, kinda should've spaced it over one more. Yeah, let's do that. And then obviously these can be manipulated however we need. <sighs> now I just need to make more of these. Alright, so we've got this. we got this pattern set up. Alright, now we got to produce... Our saline water. Hmm. Hmm. 
So we got to make this salinization plant, which we did. I thought I did. Yeah, there it is. That's going to create our saline water. Did I dump my other one up here? I did, and I didn't need to. So I'm going to need it down here. Oh, yeah. I was like, man, it automatically knew what I needed, but no, it was just me. <laughs> okay, so this is going to produce 400 saline water every 5 seconds. 400 every 5 seconds. Well, this is going to need 100 every 20 seconds. Hundred every twenty seconds, which we produce a hundred every five. So that means one of these can support four of these. So I will need another salinization plant. Salination plant. So it's a one to four ratio. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to do that. <clears throat> Which means I'm going to need at least... I can actually take one up here. I don't even have to build another one. I'll just take one of the other... I was about to say, like, why is that not running still? Get all of them... Oh, I just pass it. Why am I passing it? Is it? I mean, it apparently doesn't need all that water. Oh, now it's just taking it and putting it in the box. Okay, anyway, so let's get our pipes connected. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Should I, s maybe I should set it up. Like this just so it pretty much tells us what our ratio is if you, if you know what I mean but I'm gonna shift this over by one just so I can run the pipes down like that. And then this. Oh, okay. I was like, why am I... I was thinking I was needing more. It don't matter. It don't matter. So, offshore pump. <sighs> kind of wish I left that as water right here. That's not going to work. Offshore pump. There you are. Uh, 
I thought I put a pipe here. Okay, so now that has pow uh, not power. Now it has water. Are these not connect? Okay, those are connected. Um, obviously I can't do that. There's that. I guess we'll just connect it up like that. Alright, well, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so we need to make more of those. Algae farm mark threes. Which means I need a lot of steel pipe. A lot of, a lot of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the inserters down. Do I have inserters? No, I don't have it going. Nope, wrong thing. There we go. Yep, I had to verify. Okay, so there's all that. Um, do I have a non-return? I have a top-up valve. Let me get a non-return. And you'll see why that is. I don't want I don't want this pushing back. Like I, I want this all to go through and stay gone. So we knew that there was gonna be a slight overflow of this. We already knew that going in. We knew that was gonna happen. Feels like there's nothing there, but whatever. Because, see, that's what I meant by slight overflow. Thank y'all for bringing me inserters. Y'all are amazing. But that's only when there's three of them. Because it produces... 40 every 20 seconds. So 40, 80, 120. Well, right now, 80, but it would be 120 every 20 seconds, which is 60 every 10 seconds. Which means this needs... 20 every 3.75. So, 120 every 20, 60, basically it needs all three. And there's just going to be a slight overflow. <clears throat> I might, might need to shift this over a little bit. I guess, I guess it don't really matter. I could swap it out for red inserters. I think I got some red inserters being used elsewhere. Let me go look. Uh, that needs red inserters. Stupid boxes. Not even paying attention. Here we are.
Do I see any other red inserters? Yeah. Uh, what the issue is right now, why none of this is running, is actually because of mineralized water. So I'm going to go deal with mineralized water. And the only reason why I'm bumping this up is because I want this processing it as fast as possible. Let me see if I can swap that out and if that's any faster. And these are all there. Yeah. And see, there's a slight overflow of this. All right, so... What I need is more green algae farms, which means I need more still pipe. So to get resources flowing again, I'm going to have to sit there and deal with mineralized water. So what I'm going to do is go back and set up another factory right now, taking the overflow of the mineralized water and turning it into, well, the whole long process that we have. Uh, so, I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we'll go back and fiddle with that mineralized water. So we can get more steel being produced. So we can get more algae farms and getting all this running. But alright, um, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Don't matter if you do. Um... I enjoy playing this, and I hope y'all enjoy watching it. So I'll see y'all next time. Why is that like that? I don't know why I hit that. That was weird. But anyway, I'll see y'all next time.